My name is Derek Marble. I served 12 years in the U.S. Army as a military policeman. I deployed to Kosovo, Iraq, and twice to Afghanistan, and I support Ron Paul for President of the United States. Ron Paul receives more campaign contributions from active duty service members than Barack Obama or all the other Republican presidential candidates combined. Why do you think that is? A recent Pew Research poll says that one in three post-9-11 military vets think that the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan were not worth fighting. Yet Ron Paul is the only presidential candidate willing to bring us home. When you serve in the military, you agree to make certain sacrifices and possibly give your life in defense of your country. In return, you expect that your government will weigh the consequences before sending you. I don't think the American people can fully comprehend the hollow feeling of being thousands of miles away from your family and waking up to the fact that you were sent to risk your life for a lie. Ron Paul opposed the Iraq war from the beginning and continues to be the lone voice of reason on the debate stage. Meanwhile, his opponents and the president continue to support military adventurism throughout the world. None of those candidates understand the world or history the way Ron Paul does. It's baffling that 10 years after 9-11, we still have pundits and politicians claiming that terrorists attack us for our freedom and that Ron Paul is less than serious because he believes that our policies might have something to do with the motivations of our enemies. If you aren't willing to examine the motives of an individual, you cannot affect their behavior. If you have a dog in the backyard barking at a rabbit on the other side of a fence, it doesn't matter how much you feed him, how much water you give him, how much you yell at him, you're not going to stop the dog from barking until you do something about the rabbit. Our government gives millions of dollars to dictators of foreign countries who oppress their people. It maintains military bases in over 130 foreign countries. We are dropping bombs in six countries. As long as we ignore these facts and blame all aggression directed at our country on our short skirts and HBO, we will never stop terrorism. Our current foreign policy makes us less safe. It serves as a recruiting tool and motivates our enemies. Ron Paul understands this and an increasing number of service members understands this. In 1999, my desire to defend the Constitution and fight for my country motivated me to join the United States Army. In 2011, that same desire motivated me to leave the Army. And now that desire motivates me to support the only presidential candidate who will truly defend the Constitution. Ron Paul will restore America. He will restore the Constitution. And he will truly support the troops by bringing them home to defend this country rather than sending them to far-off lands in search of snakes to poke with sharp sticks. If you support the troops, support Ron Paul.